Hello everybody out there, Nikki Bland and all of uh, my warrior wolves. This is uh, Bill Allen Hensley and well, again I'm at the NBT Bank in Cobleskill, New York. And again, I go to go in, and this time I figured I'd be smart, and I had I had something I could use as a mask, which is illegal to have to do. But okay, it makes it way too easy to be able to rob a bank. Because in order to get in, you gotta have your face covered. Well, if your face is covered and your arms is covered, you can rob them. Because they won't be able to know who you are. That's why the bank robbers back in the days of the cowboy, that's what they did. They'd put a, bandit, a bandana over the face and they'd rob them. But I also had uh, some gloves, some surgical gloves. The same shit the doctors wear when they operate. So I figured, okay, I can put these on and I will not need to use any antibacterial hand sanitizer, which honestly doesn't work and the only uh, bacteria it kills isn't bacteria, but rather our immune systems and, hang on, I'll put that. Okay, Brad, next time it'll be either inside, following protocols, or through the drive-thru, okay? Because we can't keep on the back porch. Like yep. Have a good day. Yep, all uh, the people in here were saying how much I was in there, yeah. right? All right. Everything and last time I had told that we can't use the dress to anymore because they're open, but yet you just heard her say that next time I'm either gonna have to follow their protocol or use the drive through. So they definitely need to get their fucking uh, mind together on that one, but. Back to what I was saying, I had surgical gloves, the same shit that they use when doctors operate. As a matter of fact, let me get them out here and show you what I had. See, the same ones that doctors use when they operate. So I knew that they'd be good. Nope, I was told that I would have to take off the gloves, use the hand sanitizer, put the gloves back on. Now the hand sanitizer, the antibacterial hand sanitizer, the only thing that kills is our good viruses in our body. Our good white blood cells, which we need, because that's what helps us to fight off a disease or the cold or whatever. And the other thing that it does is it actually affects, for men, it affects our level of sperm. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard me correctly. It cuts down on the amount of boys that we make from making babies. And on women, it cuts down the number of eggs that they produce with each ovulation cycle. And it cuts down on the chances of the eggs being fertile. I mean, it's not good. I've done my research into this, I noticed it's not good. So, you know, what's going on is 
the Democrats, in particular in this case, fucking Cuomo and the rich people, whoever the fuck owns NBT Bank, what they are doing is what is called a soft target kill. Meaning they are killing off a percentage of the population. However, they are not doing it with bombs where they, they blow up buildings and the buildings have to be rebuilt. They're doing it through manipulating our very genes in our very bodies to not act right. It also makes you gain weight and have diabetes and all that. The antibacterial soap is not good for you. And if you don't believe me, look into this, all right? 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Not too many fat kids. Why? One, they didn't use antibacterial soaps. And two, the kids were outside. The kids wanted to be outside running, ramming, playing with their friends, building forts, fucking playing army, having snowball fights in the winter, just being kids. However, early to mid 90s, all of a sudden you see a shift where kids are staying inside. They don't want to go outside anymore. And all of a sudden, childhood obesity is through the fucking roof. And childhood stage two fucking diabetes is higher than hell. You know? It's not a coincidence that the second these things happened, at the exact same time, they are they were extremely hard pushing everybody to use antibacterial soap. To wash your hands, if you shake hands with someone, wash your hands with the antibacterial Purell or Dial. You know, carry a little bit of it on you, just put on your hands and rub them together. You know, it's not a coincidence that when they were pushing that, that happened. So, you know, it's not hard when you do a 30-minute Google search and you use a little bit of common sense, it's not hard to figure out what they're really doing. I say we all should get together, write emails, letters, videos, whatever to our state and federal reps and senators and tell them Listen, Jack, or listen, Jill, you want to keep your fucking job? You don't want to get voted out of office? Then you make sure that this shit gets reversed and that you don't fucking go for the mail-in voting, but that's a whole nother video. But yeah, so once again, you know, double standard. And I didn't see that part fucking watch it, use that one. No. She handed me my money. I didn't, didn't see her use it at all, but I'm supposed to use it. But she's not, but the thing is, is if I got the disease, then fucking washing my hands, using antibacterial on my hands ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> All right? Oh, it's wow. bullshit. You won't even so, you know.
but uh, so for now, I'm gonna wrap this up. And as always, my warrior wolves, until next time, think for yourselves, do your own research into everything, even what I'm telling you, research it, see if it's true. And if it's not, let me know. <laughs> Let me know how you came to say it ain't true. I'll look into it, and if you're right, I'll admit it. All right? But always question what you're told, especially if you're told it by the government. All right? So until next time, stay strong, stay hungry for the truth, be kind to one another and just like in a pack, help each other out. And I'll be seeing you.